in the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate for we're gonna send the devil a message to them. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. We're gonna send the devil a message today in Jesus' name.
to take us to the throne room of grace. Praise the Lord. Come on, lift him up, brethren. Lift him up, brethren. Lift him up. Praise the Lord. Praise his name. Give him a praise in the house. Glory to God. Now we 
this world that he gave us his son. We give God thanks for all the ministers that Pastor Rose that comes in in the evening from the high gate assembly about this baby from the Amsterdam assembly or other workers such as evangelists and missionaries and a congregation of saints that comes along in the evening. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. We are now going into our ordination service for missionary dance. The topic of the convention, every knee should bow and every tongue confess. But I'm wondering if you hear what happened in the Middle East. Now, the Muslim religion do not believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. They believe that God does not share his glory. So, in their belief, Jesus is a prophet or a good man. But they do not believe that he is the Son of God. And the Muslim religion is one of the strongest religions across earth. Especially in the Middle East. It's good for you to know what's taking place in other countries. I'm happy to say that thousands of Muslim people right now come to the conclusion that Jesus Christ is a So then, we see that every knee shall bow. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. We now stand and sing the opening song to God be the glory, great things is done. So love in the world that He gave us His Son. We ask the congregation to please stand.
will be reading from the Old Testament and also the New Testament. Old Testament reading is coming from Jeremiah chapter 1, reading from verse 4 to verse 9. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth on a womb, I sanctify thee, and I ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Oh, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto him, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Night at last, then the Lord put forth his hand and touch my mouth. The Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put words in thy mouth. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. We'll turn our Bibles to Ephesians chapter 4. Reading from verse 11 through to 16. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ till we all come in unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statues of the fullness of Christ, that we ask for me no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lay in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head of even Christ. Sixteen and last, for whom the whole body fitly joined together and compact by that which every joint supplies according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, make it increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Let the church say, Amen. Let the church say, Amen. Praise the Lord. 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 We have listened and carefully words of God is plain and God said to Jeremiah I know you even from you was in your mother's womb and Ephesians also tells us of the, the various offices that was given to the church I'm going to ask so we give Pastor Rose thanks for reading the scripture for us. At this time I'm asking you about this note and advice the care to come here for a meeting.
Is it right? Jump up and clap. I'm 
was very happy about it. When I finished then, the vice speaker said to me, you know, Bishop, I have quite a few things shouted out that I want to say to you. And one of them, it was the ordination for Sister Donaldson, which if we are missing some now, she will be no more, but she will be called Missionary Donaldson. I want, that's a popcorn word, from Ivanis Loche and also Ivanis Bukiri. Praise the Lord, brethren. Give God the glory. Praise, Praise his name. Praise the Lord. Let me pray to our host, Pastor and Bishop, Bishop Adrian Henry, Pastor Rose. I don't remember the initial. I know E. A. Rose and Pastor D. Rose, Pastor Drysdale, all the Pastor Edwards, all the other all evangelists, missionaries. Brethren, greetings in the precious name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise I can say with the someone declare, I'm mighty long way, Lord. A mighty long way. It's a long story for a sister. Donald's my sister, no missionary Donald's. It's a long story. I can't go into it, no. But you know, God has bring her in. And we didn't know that she would come. Years no. From when I was a baby coming up, she was playing church around here. Both she and my, my bishop, because they grew together. And you know, God, she went away in America for years. And she was there, you know, going to Sunday church and whatever. And God, since she came back, God started show her. She came to hold me. And then God started revealing certain things to her about the church. Because she didn't know she would come in this church. Because the uniform was a problem. But you know, thanks be to God today. You do you, you said that the writers declare that you cannot join her. You have to be born in her. And today I can say my sister, she was born in this church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh glory to God. And I'm happy for her today. That is not only she alone. She have her husband there, Mr. Donaldson. She have her daughters in Maryland who have accepted the message through sickness to her granddaughter. One of her granddaughters was very sick and none of them would come. I remember when Deacon Martin was there, one of them said to Deacon, you, you think she, Russia can't get better? And Deacon said, yes, man. She was sick, she was in the hospital, she couldn't help herself. And Deacon said, yes, man. She, she would make it. And she said that if she get better, they will give their life to the Lord. And I tell you, this, four of them now. Four and the God of God. Praise the Lord. And more is coming. So to God be the glory. Great things they have done. I think it's about two weeks ago, they have the opening, the launch or whatever in Maryland for the Maryland branch. So today I'm giving God thanks for missionary Donaldson. You just continue to pray strength in the Lord. Because we mean well, in, although the battle is rough, but we mean well. Standing on the promises of Christ our King. Through eternal ages, let his praises win. Glory in the highest. I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God. If God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise his holy name.
we were, he was born, you know. He predestined. Bless the name of the Lord. He has a way of working on things. He has a way of setting things in motion. Is it like our damn our father? He knows how to do his thing. And this afternoon, all I can say, if we have been a part, we have been so privileged and so blessed to just share a little part of it, then he for that, to God be the glory. Let me hear your praise, the Lord.
We lost sight of each other. She ended up married and was living in the United States of America, in Maryland. And I believe they were almost the family in Maryland churches or not. Sister Elaine and the one that got married to Brother McCain and our son, wife. So we push out a Maryland background is coming right there. We have lost sight and we didn't know where to find each other. But after many years, because when I came here in 1965, she wasn't there. She was in America. But it goes around and comes around that they sound the clear all the time something come back again. We will play church as little children. But tonight we are not playing church. We are the church of the living God. Glory to God. We are from the Christ. We are from the truth. Glory to God. I give God thanks this evening for what God has done. Amen. I know it is the Lord. I don't have to answer question. I know it is the Lord. And I hope and trust that she will continue holding up the blood stained banner. I come here time and time and I listen her in the Sabbath school, as the Sabbath school teacher. And the one time I say, hey, my okay, but she become quick. And the time she comes in. Because the one thing with me, I'm not boasting. If you are preaching, I sit very quietly and listen to your preach. And if you are teaching, I do the same. To so know that if you come up with any error, I know error from shoot. So, my beloved sister Donaldson, I give God thanks for you this evening. I want everybody to know how it's been. Brother Donaldson, please come here. Let everybody see Michelle Donaldson Pastor. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Brother Dennison. We can get back. So, with no delay at this time, give us back the first and the last stanza of chapter 4. While on the volume, Please rise to the board and ask all the ministers of the Church of God the First Point to come along at this time. So we ask the congregation to stand. Hallelujah. Amen.
may say as the bishop of the church of the living God and all the ministers of the church of the living God and all the bodies and deacons and congregation of saints will bear witness at this time that in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I now ordain you as a missionary of the Church of the Living God. Go into all the world, knock at every door, and bring souls even to the Church of the Living God. The whole entire body of the Church of God of the Firstborn Seven Day. Gather short the warning tower. We now ordain you as a missionary in the Church of the Living God. For the ministers to lay hands in prayer to stand.
in the evening service while you were here for the morning praying and taking part in the day's worship. So I believe uh, that we should give them even a word, a, a minute, to address the congregation. But if you know when somebody gets married, and with all the, the toast to the bride, and it shows to the bridegroom, toast to the mother of the bride, and toast to the mother of the bridegroom, and all that was said and done, then the husband, after last say to say a word before all is over. So, Mission Donaldson, we say a word before hand up to Sweet, sweet. 
church of God. Lift up all your hands and give God a praise. Lift up all your hands and give God a praise. Glory to the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I want to say to somebody today that there are two components that the writer speaks about 30 seconds. If you notice, he said that Jesus was in the fashion of man and he was humble and obedient. He was obedient unto death, even unto the death of the cross. Your knees cannot bow unless you have these components. You must be humble and obedient. That's why the right to the clear let this mind be in you. It was also in Christ Jesus. For you to be humble and obedient, then you must have a spirit that is right. And so David, he take us back. He said, God created me a clean
was in a state of bondage. They were taken into captivity because they had sinned. Either worship and take over. And man began to see themselves bigger than God. Forget that the word of God said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me.
evangelist, missionary, saints, and the deacon in the house, greetings in Jesus' name. I've been watching and I've been thinking. I know I don't want to take any credit from missionary. God bless you, my beloved. But what I love to see is young men in the church and young women. We the older ones are going. You have to be cognizant of that. That our time is limited. But Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I kept the fear. I finished my course. And henceforth is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Listen up, listen up. Not for me only, for those who are willing to bow. Hallelujah. You can't make it unless you bow. Praise God. You're out now. There's a serious thing about bowing. It can be very joyful in the end, and it can be sorrowful. If you bow when it's too late, it's judgment for you. Bless the name of Jesus. But if you bow in time, Praise God. And I'm saying, I am praying blessed sin. To be more and more like me. I am praying that my spirit, like a dog, may rest on me. Hold the rest. Hold the weakness.
So, my sister, I have to you
missionaries, congregation of saints, musician, choir, greetings in Jesus' name. And all this that is night, you give me the mic for the day's message. However, I'm not going to stay long because most of the vehicles are to be going home now. But every nation back, and every tongue confess, praise the Lord. Now we want to realize that God is the creator that called light out of darkness. Hallelujah. He is the one that made man and breathed the bread of life in them.
Thank you.